It Could Be Sweet. Written by Psyoptic Nerve. Narrated by Dodgedis82 and Horror Stories with the Baron. I take another glance at my phone before I go inside, disappointed to see that Cherry still hasn't replied to my message. I sigh and open the door. Stacy exclaims when she sees me, bustling over from the kitchen to kiss my cheek. Mwah. <laughs> I force a smile and swallow self-loathing. Why are you such an asshole? Stacy loves you. You fucking prick. And she's sweet. Almost too sweet. Predictable. Average. Boring. Yeah, that's my excuse for sneaking around hotel rooms with Cherry. I know, I know. I'm disgusted too. I take a seat at the table and go through the motions of being a good husband. I ask her about her day, and she beams. Well, let's see. Uh, so, I went for a nice jog this morning. Then... I ran into Cherry, and we had a really interesting conversation. <laughs> Fuck. Me. Hmm, Cherry. Um, which house is that again? I ask weakly. Stacy scoffs. <laughs> Diagonal from us, of course. I mean, we're neighbors. You see her all the time. Oh, right. I forgot her name, I guess. I mumble. <laughs> I brace myself. So silly. Gosh. Uh, then but I went... But Stacy moves to... on and continues Stacey. chattering about the rest of her day. Remember? Thank and fucking... Afterwards I went Wait. Food shopping. What did she just say? Any of the digital coupons I clipped. It was you amazing. called my office. It's... Oh. Yeah, I sure did. I told Dan he really needed to find someone else to work those late nights. I've barely seen you lately. And I just don't think it's right. Um, well, what did he say? Oh, yeah, he said he'd talk to you about that tomorrow. Ah, oh, Dan. I owe you for that one. You could have outed me, but you didn't. You get it, man. You get it. Well, it was going to be a surprise, but I can't wait any longer. <laughs> How do you feel about having dessert first tonight? Too fucking sweet. <laughs> Literally. Uh, that sounds great. <laughs> Ta-da! For you, my love. It's your favorite, isn't it? She chirps, coming back over to the table and placing a pie in front of me. She slices into the crust. Warm red innards come spilling out as she scoops a piece onto my plate. A cherry pie. Does she know? What did Cherry tell her? My fork hovers over the pie. Stacy waits expectantly. Would she poison me? No, no, of course not. Not Stacy, not sweet Stacy. I take a small bite. Well, how is it? It's, well, it's delicious. I say, taking another forkful. Good, good. Because <laughs> there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> She laughs, opening the refrigerator door. I'm taken aback. It's filled with pies. Tracy, what the... Oh. And then I start to choke. I put a hand to my mouth, gagging violently as something hard hits the back of my throat. I spit it back on my plate. Utterly repulsed. There, atop a pool of red, is a fingertip. 
cherries. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck did you do? <laughs> oh, come on, darling, eat up. We wouldn't want her to go to waste. 